Ibn Majah, like the others, wanted to preserve not only the sayings, but the chains of narrators. And he tried to collect as many as possible, but he didn't, of course, put everything that he collected into his collection. Narration 367 reminds us that we can share a dish for drinking or washing with a cat. I mean, of course, it's desirable to have, um, you know, cleaner water than that, but, you know, it doesn't invalidate that. Narration 82 reminds us that children, and by children I mean pre-adolescents, are as the birds of paradise. They are, you know, innocent. But some people, of course, it was known before they were born that they would be, um, you know, destined for hell. But, you know, by their own choices, of course, I mean. Narration 83 refers just to how some polytheists were disputing with Muhammad when Surah 54, Ayat 48 and 49 was learned. 91, is how the pen has been dried regarding what's going to happen. I mean, again, you know, we still have our choice. Um, so you can't change what your future is going to be. You can make a choice towards that future. Um, narration 100 is how, you know, aside from the prophets and messengers of this nation, Abu Bakr and Umar are chief leaders of the people of paradise. Um, the next narration is how Aisha related that her father was more beloved to Muhammad than the other men. Narration 107 is of a dream of Prophet Muhammad in which he was in the paradise of the hereafter. And he saw a woman getting ablution at the at the palace, and asked, "Whose whose place is this?" And it's Umar's place. And you know he turned away because he had not been invited in the dream. Um, and Umar questioned after when this dream was related. Umar's like, "Well, why should I feel shyness of you?" But of course, it was known that Umar was particularly jealous um, in regards to his wives, so, you know, you, didn't, you don't mess with that. Um, but, yeah, you know, they were willing to uh, set aside their own feelings when it came to the prophet. Um, uh, I'm, okay, that may be misread, but you know what I mean. Um, that... Okay, narration 111. You know, I met that literally, not as some reference to physically or something. But uh, Narration 111 talks about how Prophet Muhammad said that there's going to be a day with great trial and someone's going to be rightly guided, and he held up uh, Uthman's arm or something. Um, 355 relates to Surah 9, eight, 108, how some of the helpers... They um, took special care not only to wash themselves as required, but to, um, you know, clean themselves with the water when they could just wipe um, 